Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everybody, and welcome to WWE 2K24, my GM mode, here on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Uh, once again, for anybody that is uh, checking this out on YouTube, we do record these every Wednesday and Saturday after AEW. Uh, join us for our AEW simulcast uh, each and every time it's on. Well, most of the time. And uh, over on twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. And then uh, for those watching on Twitch here, we do have it on our Backbreaker Gaming uh, YouTube channel coming up every Tuesday and Friday prior to the taping that goes after so if you miss a stream you can go check it out on the youtube channel you'll be re caught right up and ready to go we're not like some of those other guys that followed a week behind and whatnot but i digress but yeah we're getting into post survivor series here which i will still say survivor series might have been the best ever card that i've booked outside of mania we had a five star, we had a four and a half, we had a four, we had a three and a half, and a two. Well, uh, that two I'm gonna fix here this week and make it improve a, a different way here. But uh, but with that, we do have to follow up on what happened here. We just ended up playing a power card where we get 10% less attendance, but 40% more money for the tickets. So we're going to make a lot more money. Our, our attendance is going to be down a little bit. I, I know that hurts our standing here, but there's different ways we can work around it and different ways we can get back to it. But with that being said, I want to show you guys what we got available here and the one little blunder I had. So let's, uh, let's get to it here. So this first thing right up here is the blunder that I made. So my goal here is to actually get uh, Scarlett into a title program with uh, Blair Davenport, our new WWE Women's Champion, that just uh, just won the title at Survivor Series in a Last Man Standing match with Becky Lynch. However, I have to turn her face to do that. So it would have been pretty cool to be able to put her face at that time, but... All right, do not book your most popular fighter this week. So let's go see popularity, fighter, 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 fighter. Bruiser, bruiser, bru cruiser, bruiser, cruiser, bruiser. Okay, so no Cora Jade this week. I think we can get away with that. I think we can get away with that. Hopefully we can get away with that. I think what we're going to have to do here this week. The other thing I want to check out is uh, stamina here. Cora, of course, has the most stamina of anybody, so she should be working. She's got that level two few with Ivy now, which I'll probably work to get a level four by the time we're done. Um... do want to get I think I might have to I, I know it sucks but I might actually have to bring somebody in for Scarlet for this week and then next week I can flip her uh, flip her face and try to get her against Blair we're going to get post loaded action here we're going to get uh, basically this is going to be a very rough show tonight But uh, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll definitely make it work. So yeah, let's... Uh, we're going to have to... Oh, one thing I want to do first is remind myself I need to do this. Now... I can do Rollins or I could do Dragonov. 
What does Dragonov turn into? A bruiser. Rollins will turn into both will turn into bruisers, so either way I'm I'm hooped here. What do I have for Oh shish Bruiser Bruiser Cruiser Cruisers Oh Class, that's what I wanted. We are basically bruiser heavy throughout this whole thing here. We got bruiser, bruiser, bruiser. Bruiser, bruiser, bruiser. Fighter, fighter. We have no fighters for male. We. We only got four weeks to worry about, so I guess I don't need to worry about it a whole lot here, but. Let's, uh. Let's book a show regardless here. We. We, we're getting a little crazy here on everything we got to do here. Stamina. So. What I'll do is I'll put Post Malone up against Dragonov. And I don't want to put the interference with Rollins because I want to do this. I want to get that roll change in. I think we'll... No, not a roll change, a class change. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. We'll change Rollins over. I want to change Scarlet to a face and then just go from there. But I got to get Scarlet in a match here. Think what I'm probably gonna have to do. Oh god, that stamina is horrible. Uh, what I'm probably gonna have to do here. I'm gonna get Scarlet in a match, but what I'm gonna do is actually bring somebody in to help out. We have a female face there. We got. That actually might be enough to do it. I only need somebody for one week. Because next week I'm flipping. Uh... Let's see here. She's a fighter, so I, I have all these bruisers. That actually might be a good pick for the rest of the season. Screw it, I got money. So we're going to have Scarlet. Debut our newest Penelope Perfect. No relation to Kurt, I think. Oh, what else? Like I said, our biggest problem right now is the fact that we have such a hurting roster. Do we run another tag match? I don't want to run Billy there. So maybe we'll do, yeah, we'll do Pretty Root versus Fallon. Yeah, we'll do it against Fallon here. Just to see if we can get uh, Trixie and... Uh, Basically, the tag the tag title match. They said they the the challengers said they worked well together with the champs. So, and you know what? Let's put the champ in action tonight. Who can he take on? We you, we've already faced Gunther. That's already out of the way. 
Do we see if we can get Argus here into a fight with him? I don't want to do anything stupid right now because, well... We'll put a stipulation on it. We're not going to put the title on the line yet. Because right now we got a... We got a uh, We got issues. Just the best way to put it. We got issues. So this is a pretty bare bones card. I might need to uh, play my keep all my fans card. But we'll see here. No specialties out of these guys. Can I book a triple out of this? Is there anybody here that I could put a decent amount of hope in for this? Could put Carmelo in there. Yeah, he's got some pretty good stamina, so we'll we'll try and get that popularity up a little bit. Yeah, because it would have been specialist versus specialist. That's not that's never a good thing, so that might actually be a good idea. Yeah, I think we got this show booked for that part. Let's just... Do I want to put the champ in there, maybe? Nah, we'll leave that there like that. And then Charity... Promo skill. There we go. I'd like to give these people as much rest as I can. Actually, that, that'll work. And who can we call out here? I've kept trying to do the call out promo and it doesn't work here, but... Maybe we'll do this one. Yeah, we'll try that one. See if we can see, maybe get that up to a level three here. I would like to get it to a level four and then let it sit for a little bit. I think we got everything we need here. We could basically play this off as a uh, three-way contenders match for the IC title. And hopefully Dragonov wins that. Uh, this one here just debuting Penelope. This is basically giving... Uh, actually... Since we're not going to get a great score on this anyway... Do we risk getting a feud between Penelope Perfect and... Do we risk taking the feud with Penelope Perfect and... Don't know if I want to risk that feud, though. That's a thing. Actually, this works out a lot better. All right, so we got the match up there. We got the match up there. We'll put a stipulation in this one just to make it cool here. That'll be a tables as well. Oh, let's back it up here. Can I... I don't want to use a lot of stamina tonight, so I think the most we'll do is two tables matches. All right, before we go there, let's take a look at our power cards. A little bit too much for me.
We could do a... Oh, this is the one I was going to pull off here. Yeah, so since we are in our last segment, our last five weeks, if I play this card, six random superstars will have their popularity increased by six. So actually, this works out really well for me. The, the roster, the way it worked. And do I have any spa packages? A pre-match physio, but no spa. And get schooled. Is there anybody close to where I want to put them here? Baron's close. Might give this to the MVP. Give that to the MVP, and he's got a new character trait to deal with. Specialist or fight? Oh, I like this. This just changed things, folks. I think in a way it might be better for me to put him as a specialist. I won't get the perks of a match specialty for him, but you know what? For all the bruisers we have too, that actually could be a good thing as well. Ah, so hard to figure out. Let's, uh, you know what? Life's not about being safe. So let's see possibly Oh, and the last thing with logistics here, we could get the social media ads campaign. Making him a fighter then? Well, if I make him a fighter, there's a lot more people he can fight, right? Because in terms of the roster, The other thing this also does is if he if anybody picks him up in the draft, they also get pigeonholed that they're not allowed to make him a specialist after. So it's also a defensive play as well as an offensive play. Like I could almost get him and Corbin into a feud here, right? Like that's what that's what I'm sort of thinking what we could do here. Do we want to get the uh, commercial ads so we can increase our network payout an extra 3%? Or do we uh, want to sit tight and work towards the bigger arena first? Because right now we're making 14% show quality already. Yeah, that's right. I wanted to go balance. So yeah, that makes sense. And the fact that I'm not using anything up too much, that actually might help out too. So let's see here. I'll I think our line is pretty much said here. I will get that class change done. I think we got it. This is going to be a rough night. But I think we're I think we're going to be okay here. I'm going to flip these two because I don't think uh I don't know if this is going to draw or not to be perfectly honest. 
the champ being in there is going to help, but I, Trent's popularity is a 66, so he's actually worked rather well. So yeah, I think all the world hates a coward. Let's go to it. So ECW, what do they got? MVP and Sheamus for the world world title right off the bat? MVP's your winner. New champ, rivalry. All right, well, that's a good way to go here. This feud has been a level four for over three rounds now. Jody Garcia and Liv Morgan. One, two. This should be Liv and a walk. That's what I thought. Honky Tonk Man. I thought he put himself over a lot better. Candice LeRae, Ronda Rousey. One, two. That's it. The Rousey wins. Always good to see Rousey with a two-star match. Logan Paul, you can go screw yourself. And our main event here, Tyler Bate, Julius Creed versus The Miz and Garza. Backstage brawl. Yeah, this is going to make a few. Yeah, four stars, of course. All right, WCW, what do you got? Orton and Big E versus the tag champs. Balor and Prince, no title on the line. Which doesn't really surprise me. It's WCW. Two and a half star. Attaboy. Captain Grog. Just barely up. Jay Pierce versus Tim Burr. This has been going on for a while, but no rivalry out of it. One, two. Ring the bell. And that's why. A weak promo, but it got to a level four. That's all that matters. Now we got Raquel and Alexa. One, two, ring the bell. Alexa Bliss, your winner. Two and a half, okay. Eddie Guerrero. Of course, he's going to get himself over. Backstage brawl for tag teams again. Booker T and Adrian Buck versus Cross and Omos. One, two, it's over. Hit the bell. Good, okay. Raw is the, the big show right now for everybody here. Tables match. Jey Uso, Braun Strowman. Strowman better have killed him. Of course. Three and a half. Tag team call out up to a level three. Okay, good on him. Lita taking on Bailey in a one on one. Two and a half star, and they got a rivalry. Good, good on them. Kit Wilson does nothing. Molly Holly and Meechin. Meechin's pissed. One, two, it's over. Molly Holly wins. Two and a half star, th three stars. Sorry, it's a level four rivalry. Stardust, the former champ. And of course, Charlotte's got the title. What do you expect here? Take it on uh, Danielle Wallace and Shayna Baszler in a triple threat. Come on, Danielle. Ah. Of course, Charlotte wins. Lol. All right. So our opening contest is essentially my excuse to make a triple threat match for the... Uh, Triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship right now. I might end up flipping Hayes, but because Hayes is just a cruiser, I don't have any face giants for him to face, so. You know what? Let's just take a look. I did make both the, both my main event and my opening match tables matches. Mainly this one because I want to get it done quicker. And our main event because it needs some kind of gimmick to get things going a little bit. The following contest is a triple threat tables match. Making his way to the ring from Dallas, Texas. Weighing in at 190 pounds. Post Malone. 
Oh, I gotta love the tattoos, right? Could you imagine Post Malone winning this matchup? Just to drive everybody nuts, right? But once again, everybody, thank you for checking things out, whether you check it out live or check it out on YouTube. Always appreciate it. Now, Ilya, we want to set up with a feud with Rollins here. We got a level two rivalry with them already. It's just it's a specialist versus specialist, so it doesn't work as well. So I took 10,000. I flipped. Uh, I flipped Rollins over to a bruiser. And a bruiser versus a specialist will be a little easier on the. Uh, the rivalry cues so we can put them into a little bit more of a There's Ilya coming in. Sorry about that chat. Just had a little message come in, so I just wanted to check on that. But yeah, uh, I got to try to fill out what I'm going to do for the rest of this card because I, I think I do need to flip Scarlet Face just because I don't have a lot of face challengers right now for uh, Blair. And I do want to set up Becky and JC. I just didn't have the energy for those two right now. And I do need it next week. We are going to have the cage match between Billy and uh, JC Jane. Clean that up. My plan is to have that cage match and that feud. Put uh, Becky. Becky could do a promo on uh, on JC and maybe that'll light that feud. Because I'll tell you, third, the week after that, we'll have Dom versus uh, Clint in a cage to finish that feud off. We are going to have plenty of feuds setting up to go to Mania. But I do want to clean some of these up before they get too stale. Plus, Tom's a tag champ, so I want to make sure that he's available to defend those titles at Mania, right? Post just hanging around the corner, just whatever. Dragon up just going ham right now. Nice neck breaker. So the other thing we're able to do in this match is actually set up a special guest referee. Now that we actually got those extra ads. Who knew extra ads would cause uh, us to do more things? Nice hip toss there. Hey, I, I was going to say, Mello, you know, you, all you have to do is just, you know, attack someone from out there. Both these guys are willing to work, that's for sure. 
But nobody's called for a table yet. And I opened my big mouth. Post below brings it in. Drag it out, puts him through it. Nice knee by Pulse Malone there. And Carmelo just says enough of that garbage. I might even do a Carmelo versus Pulse Malone uh, feud here out of this. I can flip Carmelo to a uh, to a heel. That's what he is right now, right? So. Oh, he almost had him there. Why didn't you put him through the table? There it is. Nope, wrong way. Dragunov just had not having it tonight. Takes out both men. That's impressive. Nice reversal by Dragunov. Here it is. And Dragunov wins the triple threat, as we hoped. So now Dragunov, we should be able to get him into his program with Rollins without an issue. Yeah, this ain't going to be a good night, folks. <laughs> Two stars, I... <laughs> We might get a one star out of that next match. Can't have them all. That's true. Okay, so we got the we got the switch done. So that mission accomplished. So this one here, ruthless and uh, a Trixie are trying to work together as a tag team. So I tried to set this up as a tag team, uh, two members on each, one member on each team. As uh, Henley is teaming up with Billy Slugger as tag champs. She's got her own feud right now with JC Jane. She's got to prepare for. Unfortunately, I needed her to. Fallen's popularity almost has her set for a singles run. I know. That's why I want to try to. I was trying to see maybe if I can switch things around. I might even force a tag tag title change just to get Fallon in that spot against Blair. Then I don't have to worry about Scarlet. Yeah. There's so many different possibilities. That's the problem right now when you have to... It's not that you have too many titles. You just have, don't have enough wrestlers. It's sort of the opposite thing right now. See, and if I would have put Blair in here, I could have found it if I could get that feud. So that's a little bit of a misnomer on me here. Because I think for Mania right now, we got... Because I think we have to book six matches for Mania. It's five for the other shows, but six for this one. You got... Cora and Ivy will be a level four. Rollins and Dragonov will be a level four. And then the other four are just title matches. 
Well, I guess we need one more because Rollins is IC champ. All right, this is cool. Already? Just the one count, all right. This is what I'm saying about roster construction here a lot of the time. You need to be able to be smart enough to uh, Adjust your roster construction for multiple matches, not just one. Like for the first half, I was pretty good in terms of matchups, but now I'm fighting a little behind here. This is where some free agents might come in handy. We'll see where we're at next week, because by next week, we should have a pretty good idea where we're headed. Because if you don't have your feud set up roughly by the four, by the second week, you're in panic mode going into week, uh, week 25, right? Like you could get those double promos and all stuff like that. Yeah, this is definitely going to be bigger than, uh... This is definitely going to be bigger than our opening contest. Ruthless, what are you doing? You had her down, you got one hit, finish it. Nice elbow here, and yeah, this is... I should have used that keep the same number of fans card, but I'm just worried Pierce is going to throw something at us here. One, one, one. Oh God, they made two. I'm impressed. Trying to go for a power slam there and just says, nope. Hooks the leg here. Uh-oh, what's Fallon got? Going for another double sledge, it looks like. No, cross body. Oh, got a finisher lined up. There it is. That's a long time to get a pin down. And Fallon get your win here. Here is your winner, This will probably be a two-star match. Just because of the familiarity with him. Watch it be a rivalry and then I'm yeah. Probably had a lot easier ways to fix this, but a two-star match, so it's even going to be worse than I needed. Yeah, this is a rough show tonight.
no, 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 please, no. Well, we got a rivalry. Well, we'll see. We can work this out. So, Becky got us 5,200 fans, which I appreciate. Because Lord knows we're losing most of them tonight. All right. So, this one here, we had the debut of Penelope Perfect. As she's going to be taking on Trixie Gambit and Scarlet, who demanded a match tonight. Uh, best way to explain this, I needed a match. And I'm grasping at straws here. Watch Scarlet get one with Penelope. And this will just completely bat my my week. But it's nice to get Scarlet back working again because she hasn't been on in a while. Well, pretty much since she lost the tag titles, I haven't used her a whole lot. It really does suck the fact that uh, Scarlett never got a chance to work as a wrestler. Is a triple threat match, making her way to the ring from Sin City. It really does suck that she wasn't able to get her opportunity to wrestle in WWE itself and like on a more permanent basis, because she's re she's really good. Just a gimmick with Carrion, and I'm sure they had their own choices too. Like Scarlet may have cho chosen to be in that position. Now, realistically, Scarlet should win this match, and storyline-wise, what I'd like to do here is. Scarlet is so over with the crowd that she decides to move into a like she becomes a face at this point and then she can fight with Blair Davenport for the women's title. Because really what I could do if I need to I could release release pretty ruthless if I have to. First, Penelope's getting the Goldberg entrance. First, from Beverly Hills, California, Penelope Perfect. Surprise, it didn't go from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah she's got the Stacks McSlacks entrance. She points to her eyes. Feast your eyes. Stack McSlacks took the uh, Donovan Dijak uh, entrance, right? For a lot of it. Then here comes Trixie. Now, if just for the hell of it, I wouldn't mind seeing uh, Penelope and Trixie get into a feud. Because anybody else we bring in tonight or bring in for the rest of the season, it's probably going to be somebody established and somebody with a ton of popularity. We might even do a legend spot depending on how much money we have.
So the big problem with that power card is we are falling behind Raw on this one because we obviously lose 280 fans a show. I love how Penelope staring down Trixie while she's doing that. Penelope trying to go underneath the ring for side, forgets the LED boards there. Yeah, I gotta find somebody, somebody to go up against Blair. Cause I don't have Becky anymore, right? So Fallon would have been a great choice, but now she's got pretty ruthless on her. Which like I said, isn't the smartest move in the world on my end, but. That was awkward AF, but that's okay. Like I said, this match is awkward AF right now. See? The face and the heel are working against Scarlet, so... Scarlet's working her way to be a face out of this. Crouch cheered the kendo stick. I should have brought Blair into this just for the hell of it. Oh my. There's only one other way we can pivot out of this, and it'll determine what happens tonight. If I can't pivot out of uh, Stax and Argus, I might have to put the title on the line between uh, Trent and Argus. Also, the other thing to remember is Trent's contract's coming up next week. Which, if uh, Trent leaves, that title's open to anybody, so I can basically book that whatever way I want. You can sort of see why I book these as uh, these table, these usually as tables matches, because they usually go a little quicker. There you go, Scarlet. Oh, nice close line. Perfect ain't getting the pin on that. Nice shot. Oh, uh, perfect sneaks out of the ring. Or sorry, Gambit sneaks out of the ring.
on the floor for that matter. Jeez. Yeah, I think Raw is absolutely going to kick her rear end this week. Easily. Well, they already beat us in the first half. This could be like a seven-star match, isn't it? Now we're getting chairs out. And Scarlet said, nope, we're done with this. All right, Scarlet, get your finisher up. There we go. Oh, God. That should be a finish, but is Pen Penelope going to steal it? She might. No, oh, Scarlet said no thanks. That was a hell of a lot of teleporting there. Scarlet's like, hell nah. All right, get on that pin. Sister Abigail, okay. Oh God. Penelope's dead. Spinning Uranagi. Trixie doing the smart thing here. Unfortunately, Penelope's been up for way too long there. Greetings from Bel Air there. Uh oh. That's it. This is how Scarlet wins. There we go. As expected, Scarlet wins this. No rivalry, please. No rivalry, please. No rivalry, please. She'll put a rivalry with Penelope there. I guarantee it. Gotta love the poses. Everybody's gonna fall and pray to her. I don't think we're gonna lose the last match. <laughs> please no rivalry, please no rivalry. Okay, good. Dull, boring, that's fine. We're gonna make up for this next week. Rivalry to level three, perfect. And our main event tonight, the Somehow, our WWE champion, Trent Shaw, going to be taking on Argus the Great. Two of the big underdog stories here that we had so far. I wonder if it'll let me, uh, let me change up a rivalry here. Let's hope. Let's go. It's time for the Shaw Stopper, the main event. But yeah, once again, another tables match. It's got to be more than one star. The following contest is a tables match. Making his way to the ring from Little Rock, Arkansas. Weighing in at 219 pounds. The undisputed WWE Universal. Oh 
Bengals fans are not going to be happy. Bengals fans are not going to be happy. Jamar Chase is officially decided. Yeah, the show stop of this, the Shaw stop of this is the Rat of Ages tonight. Oh, this is going to be fun. I really hope that we, we can find a way to make this a thing. Because we've actually built up a lot of popularity with both these guys, right? Put a lot of effort and work into them. If everything goes well here, Argus wins. Rivalry gets set up. Even if a rivalry doesn't get set up and Argus wins, we give Argus the title shot next week against Trent. And unfortunately, if Trent loses, then we can go to Stax versus Argus for the heavyweight title. And we can fall back on that feud right that way. But it's almost interesting to see if somebody's in a feud, if we can move them out of a feud into another feud. But these are two classes that work out, right? So. I wonder what Trent will ask for us, but we do have that contract negotiation tag in our back pocket still, so. And Trent just said, nope. Nice drop kick to the back of the head. Nice butterfly suplex by the champion. Oh my God, really? Flying Tierras by the champ into a spinning corkscrew moonsault. Standing version. This is Samoa Joe without being Samoa Joe. Into a springboard stunner, okay. Shaw's just mopping the floor with Argus here. This is hilarious. Shining wizard? What Shaw got planned now? It's a tables match and he still wants to use that kendo stick. Nice power slam. Will somebody please set up the table? No, nope. okay. I'd laugh if they gave this half a star. There's no way in hell it should, but. Argus, you're supposed to set it up, not do that. Nice drop kick. Sean knows what's going on. He's trying to set it up, but. Argus just has none of it right now. Reverse Alabama slam. Champs down, champs hurt. Argus got to take advantage. Thanks for holding that for me, sir. Uh-oh, looks like we might get a spear out of this. 
Or is he going for another one? He's going for another one. Home Depot happy about the rental fees on this one. Argus grabbing a third table? I guess Argus realized you could use it as a weapon. Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here. I appreciate having you all here tonight. Wow. All right, champ, what do you got? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That could have wanted to him if he would have lined it up with the announce table. Looks like nobody here really wants to win the match. Almost looks like me when I press the wrong button all the time. He could have just twisted his body just a little bit and he would have got it through the announce table. Very nice reversal there by Argus. That butterfly suplex would have done it. Oh, wow. Okay. This is not good. This is going to do it. Oh, Argus, what are you doing, man? I don't think Argus has learned what real tables are. Nice shot to the arm. Tables didn't exist in his age exactly. And there you go, the ride of ages. Now he just has to finish him off. Vargas could win this. He's definitely got to earn himself a title shot here. Like, Argus, what are you exactly are you doing? Oh, he wants that table specifically. Don't tell me we've got a goofy AI situation here. Probably. If you guys remember in season one, Ah, oh, there we go. In season one, the TLC matches weren't fixed. Here it goes. And through the table. And the champion survives. You can't really say he won. You can tell he survived. Champ reintroduces, reintroduces himself? Absolutely. So what are we going to get here? The funny part is two and a half is our highest score tonight. Wow. Wow. All right. You know what? I can live with that. There's different ways we can pivot out of this. It hit the curve. 
Fortunately, we were right in the ditch for our report cards here tonight. Speaking of which, let's go take a look. Um, did I miss something? Oh, it counted the same. Okay. Instead of one and a half, it marked it as two on there. So we're, we're safe. We got a good booking. I'm all right. I'm okay with that. All right, so class change worked out. Ruthless and Henley, unfortunately, is a feud. No feud there. This one's a level three, which I'm happy about. And no feud there, which I might just have to... I might book a triple threat, to be honest. Wallace and Flair, level two. Lita Bailey, one. This tag team one's at a three. And this one's been four forever, so... Realistically, it should be on cooldown. Good booking as well. China and Stratton to level four. This tag feud's finally to level one. Didn't go up during the match, so that's impressive. And this one's at a level four. This one's always been a level four. That's a level one. All right. Not bad, not bad. We survived. So let's see what we got in terms of the stats here. Okay, so ECW first, 114, 50,000 fans, and 357,000 in the bank. So they got some coin now. WCW 111, so their score was horrible. 48,000 fans. They're up to 267, okay. Raw, got a 116, 43,000 fans, and 500, they got half a million in the bank right now. Oi. We got a 94, 22,000 fans. My God, did we blow it. We got 406,000 in revenue, but yeah. Oh, that sucks. We might be behind the other ones right now. Got the injury rehab, which I should have looked at that. Ugh. Okay, so we're in first place right now. Oh, we're, we're basically fighting with SmackDown now, or fighting with Raw to get first place. They got more money, they got more fans. So we gotta definitely do some work here. Once they reach the 600,000 mark in the budget, they might actually get another Hall of Fame trophy where they might end up taking over from us at first. We need, the, the magic goal here is to get 4 million fans and then we'll get another Hall of Fame trophy ourselves. But once again, as I said before, I don't feel bad if if we don't get first place at the end of the season, because I want to get first place by the end of season five. If we end up second in season four, season uh, two, we get to keep four people instead of three going into the draft. So for me, I feel it's going to be a little easier if we do finish in that second spot. Not that I'm having a defeatist attitude, but at the same time, I want to be realistic here. It's a long-term game here, right? So, but as per tradition and the fact that we can't save at this point, uh, we will continue on into the booking screen and see what's going to happen next week. San Antonio. All right, Trent, what do you got here? Staying for the rest of the season cost to be 26. I am more than happy with 26. You're my champ. Yeah, damn right. So I'm just not even going to question it.
She wants a 50,000 bonus. Fallon, you booked yourself in a rivalry of Pretty Ruthless. Need to treat us equally sounds like excuse to me. Do you think we fans are equal? I'll work on her. That's okay. Hmm. Ilya and Gunther as a tag. Yeah, 36 popularity. Okay, Fallon. Exactly. Ilya and Gunther as a tag. Um, that might be a bit of a home run. Yes, we will. Because I could just book, well, hell, I'll do like, I could even do Post Malone and, and Seth Rollins against Gunther and Ilya, right? So, got that. Clint's, Clint's contract runs out next week, so... We're going to have to see how that goes. And everything else. We only failed one so far. And that's. And we brought Argus back. So that isn't even an issue. So we haven't had. what? What's he going to give us? Oh, scary points. I could really care less. And in terms of power cards, dropping bars, that would be interesting. But I think next week we got to we got to get some things in gear here, get some level four rivalries going. I know I had a couple main events planned, but we might be able to see if we can stretch them out a little bit here. But you know what? That's something we can uh, take care of next week. So let's bring it back to a chat screen here. So, we're all done for this week here. SmackDown, well, like I said, it's going to be a, it's going to be a struggle. Well, last week was a struggle. This should be okay. I should have played that uh, keep your fans card. So, we would have kept the extra 30 grand or whatnot. Well, that's on me. That, I was just scared of something else happening. So, with... Uh, with that being said, our next show is actually going to be a lot of fun because we got everybody ready to go. Given a lot of time off. The big thing is I gave time off to a lot of the big heavy hitters. This is more of a mid to lower tier card uh, that we had this week, which was obvious by the scores that came out. We're going to have a lot of heavy hitters out next week. I want to see if I can get uh, Blair out next week. Uh, potentially we do that tag match that they asked for. I have to see what the stamina levels and all that are, and let's make sure nobody gets injured because of it. Um, well, we got to get... Uh, there's two female feuds that have to get from a level three to a level four. We got titles to figure out. We got to figure out who's going to be facing Trent here. We might end up having to do that triple threat. Like, I remember last year at the end of se series one... We literally just put four opponents in for uh, Becky's title because we really didn't know which way we were going with that. So, well, with that being said, uh, for those on Twitch, stick around. We'll send a raid off here in just a moment. Uh, for those on uh, YouTube, make sure you hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because it's free. And leave a comment about what you would have done better to get that card out of the dumpster the way that it looked there. Um, yeah, on behalf of everybody here, thank you for stopping by. We will be back here with another episode. Uh, this one will be going up on Tuesday on YouTube. Next one will be up on Friday. But if you want to catch it early, catch the live recording after AW Dynamite this Wednesday on our uh, Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. But as always, folks, remember, be part of the solution. Don't be part of the problem. And we'll see you all here next time on the, the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.